in, um, it's based on the father-daughter wedding dance. So the first part of the music is the father giving the daughter away on the aisle. And, that's, and then there'll be a link where it changes from the church to the reception. And it's when the father has his final dance with his daughter before he goes off with the husband. Dreams came true. Guess she gave you things. Helen is a very, very strict coach, and precision is everything with the two of us. We hardly have a moment for humour or anything, you know, it's just constant practice. Lies, it's lies. We have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to turn out bad of the blue, uninvited, but I couldn't stay away, I couldn't fight it. I'd hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. But yes, I mean, I started from dancing because of my deafness. I, um, I was deafened by meningitis when I was 18 months old, and as a result, I completely lost my hair and got no residual hair whatsoever. And I also have really, really bad balance. So I started dancing as a form of physiotherapy because the teacher keep me upright. And also as a way of um, learning to appreciate the music um, because I just follow the teacher's lead. And ever since then, I've just been in love with the music and the whole of dance. And dancing is the way that I bring the music alive. But I still struggle sometimes to actually hear the music the right way. So in a Doesn't way... Doesn't seem like that from this position. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> you're throwing me off now. <laughs> well, I mean, to what extent do you find ballroom is easier than those other more individualistic forms simply because you have a partner who, in a sense, is proxy for the timing sometimes? Essentially, yes. You're yeah. my metronome, basically. Mm. In a way, I'm the perfect bowler because I have to bowler the man. I just can't decide what the music timing is for myself. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if my partner goes off time, as long as I'm with him, I don't really care. Which but I do. Ideal, perfect female dance partner, obedient. <laughs> Please welcome to the floor, performing the waltz, Michael and Helen. Ashok Nanda, 
Well, that was uh, elegance personified. An absolutely fabulous book. Well done. And finally, Brian? Well, I think this reminded me very much of a Disney film. I wasn't quite sure whether it was Cinderella or Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Time now to collect the scores from our judges. Brian Angus. In Walson, we round eight. Peggy Fripp. Yeah. Ashok Kanda. Nine. Elena McNally. Has to be ten. Thank you.